It's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to share with you the magnificent RF 70-200 lens. Spoiler alert, it's a lens you're going to want. It's sharp, it's fast, it consistently produces clean looking images and great looking bokeh filled blurry backgrounds that, that make your subjects almost pop off the page or screen. Why is this lens important? Why review it and talk about it? Canon's Holy Trinity f2.8 zoom lenses are the RF 15-35 f2.8 image stabilized, the RF 24-70 f2.8 image stabilized, and the 7200 covering all focal lengths from the 15mm to the 200mm. It's part of a working photographer's gear. Today we're going to be talking about the RF 70-200 lens. It's an amazing lens. It's one that you must have. I don't say that very often, but this is a game changer. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. We're going to talk about how durable this lens is, how flexible it is, how fast and light it is, and the different types of photographers who really want this in their kit. And and keep your eye open for a bunch of sample images that I include in this video that I took with this lens this week. It's an awesome, awesome lens. There's a whole lot more. Let's get into it. I often remind myself with the mantra, use price and performance, or I, I should probably reverse it, use performance and price, UPP. Considering this lens, think what's up? What will you use it for? This lens provides reach for wildlife and bird photographers. It provides a unique compositional tool for landscape photographers as well. It's also clutch for events, reaching across a crowded dance floor or event space to capture a key moment. And it's a beautiful choice for portraits because with the compression you can get at those wide open apertures, it can elevate your backgrounds to dreamy painting. We know that it's lighter than the EF. It's also shorter than the EF, but it has a very durable, kind of a flat matte enamel coating on the lens, the rubberized control rings for focus and for zoom uh, feel durable. Although I, I think the zoom ring is a little bit stiff. That's one uh, criticism I have of it. But with that, um, there's also a rotatable detachable tripod collar. Here I have it off. Um, the lens is rugged. It is absolutely rugged. The RF lens appears short if you're used to the EF 70 D200. It's three fourths the length, it's two thirds of the weight. There we get into some of the benefits that are commonly mentioned, and that's where we, we move from use into performance. So it's three quarters of the length, two thirds of the weight of the EF version. It has five stops of stabilization versus three stops for the EF, and it has quiet, smooth autofocus. Let's look at some of the benefits, some of the performance points that people don't necessarily discuss when they review this. The benefits, minimal focal distance is 27 inches compared to the 47 inches for the EF. This means you can get closer to your subject and get in focus, but this also means you can compress the background in different ways because you're so much closer to the subject. You can almost get twice as close compared to the EF. Another benefit is reduced lens breathing, which is the frame shrinking or shifting in as you zoom in when it grabs focus, uh, and that's because of the lens design. This Canon RF 70-200 is a game changer. Large and heavy lenses can wear you out, especially at long events. See my video on the RF 28-70 lens. This RF lens shrinks the size down to 5.75 inches, leading to less space consumed in your case even fitting vertically where this lens model used to only fit in horizontal orientation. Yeah, you can stand this lens up in your camera bag. The optics on this are amazing. So the current EF model is excellent and I'm gonna do another video where I compare them side by side, um, but this is at least as great as its predecessor and I would say it outperforms it, but we're gonna test that later. It's extremely well built and it performs well under daily professional use. It's smooth uh, rings, except I think that the zoom ring is a little stiff for my liking, but it focuses quickly, quietly, smoothly, and the image quality at the end is amazing. The five-stop image stabilization in this lens is very impressive, and I'm going to show a picture that I took around sunset uh, over the Saddleback Valley, and when I was hand-holding 
this shot, I realized, zoomed in at 200 millimeters, how much the stabilization uh, worked. So five stops is amazing. This is obviously a great uh, portrait lens for, for full body portraits at 70 mil to tight head shots at 200 mils. And uh, this is um, just a beautiful way to blow out and make that background bokeh soft like a painting. So um, sports photography, that's another um, use and it performs well on that. Shoot super sharp focusing and super sharp images when the um, subjects are moving quickly. Landscape photography again. And um, you know, it's, it's a great uh, tool for cityscapes and landscapes as well. If you like any part of this video, please subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And tell me in the comments, what's your favorite lens? Please leave a comment. I love to talk to the people. You can hit me up on Instagram, send me a direct message and we can chat about photography. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. All right, that's it. Peace.